Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Poly. In this video, I am going to take a question from the combined concept of coordinate geometry and calculus. The concepts that we are going to use here are from the chapter straight line, hyperbola, and in calculus, I am going to use the geometrical meaning of derivative. Here in this question, you will see that how observation plays a major role in the proper interpretation of the question. So let's start this beautiful question. So question says something like this, ki find area of triangle, for say area of triangle again. Find the area of triangle formed by three lines. Okay, abhi three lines se bannay wala triangle ka matlab hai, ki either you get the vertices and solve it, or uh, you get one vertex, length of the base, half base into height ka concept bhi use ho sakta hai. But abhi we will proceed and check what actually we have to do here. So they are saying that L1 line to bhoat hi fixed line hai, y is equals to x plus 1 humare paas aage hai. <coughs> the second line that we have is y is equals to mm, 3 minus x. So better write it as uh, x plus y is equals to 3 only. Third line mein there is some issue ki abhi slope nahi pata chal raha hai, slope nikalna padega. This is equals to f dash 1 plus root 13 into x minus 1 minus root over 13. It looks as if we are writing down the tangent line to a curve f of x. Okay, this is just the feel I am getting here. It's not necessary that this line will be tangent. Tangent ke liye kya kya chahiye? Point on the curve bhi ho to pata chal jayega to sahi hai. Aur saath mein, ab dekho, x coordinate to same hai. 1 plus root 13 hi liya hai. So maybe it is a tangent line to the curve f of x. Okay, what is the function f of x by the way? You can see that f of x is x square minus 2x minus 10 divided by root over x square minus 2x minus 6 and then minus 2. Obviously, this curve ko dekkar sabse pehle feel a hai ki let us rationalize it. So, numerator ka factor to as it is likhi diya. Rationalize karke root over and uh, plus 2. Coming to denominator, it will be x square minus 2x minus 6. And minus 2 ka square means minus 4. But did you notice that we can cancel them? We are getting the same factor in the numerator and denominator. And the expression, the function fx has now become a little easier. A little comfortable form is here. fx ko mein y se replace kar diyo. This is root over x minus 1 ka square. Uh, minus 1 ka square to minus 5 mein adjust kar rahi hu pe. Minus 5 nahi. I think minus 7 I should write, right? And then we have plus 2. In fact, let us write it as y minus 2 ka whole square. This is equals to x minus 1 ka whole square minus 7. Or in fact, notice this point. It is x minus 1 ka whole square minus y minus 2 ka whole square is 7. So basically, this curve is nothing but a standard hyperbola having center at 1 comma 2. Right? This is hyperbola ki equation. If this is a hyperbola, so I just want to check. I was getting the feel that this line is tangent to the curve. So let us check. Ye to hai. 1 plus root 13 par hamare pas tangent line ka hi slope hai. But are we getting these two coordinates? Or are we getting this point lying on the curve? So x ko 1 plus root 13 likkar dekh lete hai. When you write x is equals to 1 plus root 13, to ye 13 minus 7, kitna ban jayega? 6. 6 ka matlab root 6. So, y is equals to 2 plus minus root 6. So, 2 plus root 6 is a point on the curve. Yes. So, see we have a point on the curve and slope of the tangent. So, it is nothing but this third line is nothing but a tangent line to the hyperbola. Right? So, three lines are just say ek line jo mujhe di hai triangle banane wali. That is nothing but tangent to the hyperbola. Okay, fine. Let us go ahead. And trace it. Ek chota sa curve trace karte hai, just for convenience. Okay, Hatula ka center is. So center hame diya gaya hai, that is 1, 2. <coughs> now I'm going to trace its asymptotes also. So what are going to be the asymptotes of this hyperbola? As you can see, the asymptotes are going to be, I'm going to write it over here. Y minus 2 whole square is equal to x minus 1 ka square. Yani ye likha y minus 2 is x minus 1. 
और y इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन एक एस एम टोट आ गया एंड सेकेंड एस एम टोट मिले y माइनस टू इज माइनस एक्स प्लस वन यानी कितना आ जाएगा x प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो इफ यू नोटिस दीज इक्वेशन ना देन दीज आर नथिंग बट द रिमेनिंग टू लाइन्स गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो बेसिकली दे आर सेंग दैट फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय थ्री साइड्स वे आर द टू साइड्स आर नथिंग बट द एस एम टोट्स ऑफ गिवन हाइपोबोला सो आई एम जस्ट ट्रेसिंग द गिवन हाइपोला के एस एम टोट्स एस एम टोट्स बना देते हैं रफ स्केच मैंने ट्रेस कर दिया दीज आर दस एम टोट्स that we have for the hyperbola and the third side that they have given is nothing but the tangent line to the hyperbola to humne ek tangent line to the hyperbola bhi trace kar diya ye raha so basically this is kind of a standard question from hyperbola jisme hum kya karte hain ki area of triangle formed by the asymptotes and any tangent to the hyperbola is a constant this is the result we learn for hyperbola ki aapke paas kisi bhi hyperbola mein एरिया फॉर्म बाय टेंजेंट लाइन द एरिया फॉर्म बाय द टेंजेंट लाइन एंड द टू एस एम टोट इज ऑलवेज अ कॉन्स्टेंट यानी ये एरिया हमेशा ही कॉन्स्टेंट रहेगा टेंजेंट आप कहीं पर भी ले लीजिए एंड द एरिया टर्न आउट टू बी इक्वल टू ए बी वॉट यू मीन बाय ए बी ए इज नथिंग बट हाफ द लेंथ ऑफ ट्रांसवर्स एक्सेस बी इज हाफ द लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्जुगेट एक्सेस यानी जब आपके पास एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन हाइपोबोला होता है तो आंसर बिकम्स ए बी राइट नाउ वट काइंड ऑफ हाइपोला डू वी हैव वी हैव द स्टैंडर्ड रेक्टेंगुलर हाइपोबोला ए और बी का तो सेम वैल्यू आ रहा है ए और बी का सेम वैल्यू आ रहा है तो यू जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू अकॉर्डिंगली ए और बी यानी ये तो ए स्क्वायर बन जाएगा अभी ए स्क्वायर का मतलब यहाँ हमें वैल्यू कितनी मिल रही है सेवन सो प्रोडक्ट ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन यानी कोई कैलकुलेशन पार्ट नहीं आई वोट से दैट नो कैलकुलेशन पार्ट इज दस ये जो कैलकुलेशन हमने की है वो बिल्कुल ही Negligible. So negligible calculation part is there, but yes, the observation is a must thing. If you want to solve this question very quickly, आपको vigilant रहना पड़ेगा. See the terms that they have given in the question, the data that they have provided. See again, I connected. The moment I saw f dash, I got the idea that maybe it is a tangent line. So I was working in that direction. कि अगर ये tangent line है, तो I must check the point also on the curve. The point on the curve भी आ गया. Tangent line भी आ गया. Hyperbola we identified, and after that we came to know that the remaining two lines are nothing but the asymptotes of hyperbola. So this is nothing but connecting the two chapters and always staying vigilant when we are solving the question. आप blindly नहीं solve करते हो जब भी question को solve कर रहे हैं तो always अपने mind को open रखे. Concepts किसी भी chapter से कहीं पे भी club किए जा सकते हैं, है ना? And IIT loves combining concepts of different chapter. So I hope. Uh, the question is clear to everyone, and you must have enjoyed this question. I really enjoyed this question. Why? Because the calculation part was not there, but the observation was really good in this question. So, if you like this question, then don't forget to hit the like button. Please share it with your friends and fellow aspirants, and do subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.